Hi, I am Jeff Braven, the Executive Director here at AST, American School for the Deaf, also known as Mother School, first deaf school in America. Since 200 years ago when ASD started, the number of students has kept on increasing to the point where we have 400 to 500 in 60s and 70s. That time there were many rubella cases which have reduced. We have now 150 students here. Also, we have served 200 students in the state of Connecticut. I remember that it was very hard to communicate in hearing school. I always needed an interpreter to relay information and it was very bothersome. Okay, the interpreter is here for me, but the constant information really, really bothers me. Even while I talk to my peers, I have to get the interpreter to follow me. I have to go through the interpreter. Else, should I write to communicate? I remember that in the hearing school, I would see many people talk among themselves and I felt very lonely because they thought I was deaf. I told my parents I want to go to a deaf school because I sign. I do not speak. My parents, after a lot of discussion, finally agreed and I was extremely excited. When I first started ASD, I was very nervous and didn't know what to do. As I had never communicated with so many deaf people, it was my first time in ASL. When I moved to ASD, communication was easy. It was fun. I was doing so much. I was comfortable. The hearing school was just a... Uh, Teachers taught me and I learned a lot about deaf culture, ASL, communication, how to talk with them. Communicating in sign language, I felt connected, socializing, making new friends. I have good opportunities to learn exciting things. They are not mean to me. We are united like a family, very supportive, so valuable. Our students here are from Connecticut, the New England region and also from other US states. We also have international students from different parts of the world. The reason is to add diversity here. That is something I am proud of, making sure our students have diversity. I love ASD because I have many opportunities which are compatible to the needs of deaf students. We have many many different opportunities. For example, our school has correspondences, French classes, cooking and on the road. There are lots of changes happening in the field of deaf education. But at ASD, I begin here with the person that was brought here. He was Laurent Clerk. He was a wonderful teacher and he introduced American Sign Language. This was where he set up and now it has become the home of American Sign Language. Why? Sign Language is like the language of my life. My language really started from ASL. I got to learn new skills all because of ASL as it helped me communicate with people. I can see the differences of culture in sign language, little bits and bits of differences that fascinated me. Everyone is different, but it's the same as deaf. I sign when I come here. When I go home, I sign too. I should feel like myself. When I go home, I feel I have to change for them to understand what I am trying to say. But here I can sign freely and everyone understands me well. I'd rather be in my own world. I like to be involved with deaf language, which is sign language.
Many researchers have successfully proven that sign language is the best way for our students. So we make sure that we value and give importance to ASL and English. Bilingual language. How we can make sure that these are part of students' daily lives and their communication needs. Many opportunities for the deaf community to be united and I feel great. That is rich. I am comfortable, excited, making friends, signing, talking, having fun and I am happy there. I am very proud to be an ASD student because I get to be here as a student of the school that has been so old. Our students have more opportunities so we make sure to give them every tool. So students can meet different opportunities that are available outside. I think the future is bright. I am always proud because now I have many good deaf role models which means the institute has been doing good for so long. Now the institute must continue doing good and make sure our deaf people continue to have a wonderful life ahead.